Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about a popular topic, <clears throat> a topic that is much needed to be discussed, to be analyzed. We're talking about depression, and I, and I want to label this the blessing of depression and how we can defeat depression. And what do you what do you mean, Rev C? A bl depression is a blessing. Stick with me through this video, and you will see the blessing of depression. Now let's look at some depressing stats. Some depressing stats. Six point seven of adult seven percent of adults have had at least one major depressive episode. That's one in 20. One in five adults live with a mental illness. Almost one in 25 adults live with a serious mental illness. 50% of chronic mental illness starts before the age of 14. 75%, the number increases, 75% of chronic mental illness starts by the age of 24. Now, these stats have increased greatly during uh, COVID-19. Uh, the, the depression rate in the U.S. has tripled due to the corona pandemic. And I, I want to make this statement that depression does carry a stigma. It does have a stigma with it. And part of getting rid of that stigma is to address it in the church. The church has to start addressing mental illness issues. Christians get depressed. Yes, Christians get depressed. We have to get over this stigma. You guys know Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the, the Eeyore syndrome, the depression. People always know why they are sad but might not want to tell you the reason. That's Eeyore's syndrome of depression. He was depressed, but he never really wanted to say why until someone pressed him. And then he, he would share the reason for his depression. Look at this. Have you ever felt like this? Have you ever felt depressed? Eeyore says, I was so upset, I forgot to be happy. And that's, that's what depression is. Depression keeps you down, keeps you in this fog, and you start to forget your blessings. We develop spiritual amnesia. Depression is perpetual darkness depression many who battle with this say it's like you're in perpetual fog and darkness and gloom proverbs 12 25 it says anxiety depression in a person's heart weighs it down. It weighs it down. It presses on your spirit, your heart. But a good word cheers it up. Anxiety, an uneasiness. A restlessness is the picture here in the Hebrew. It's they are God. You're, you're afraid. There's worry. There's distress. 
Proverbs 18.24, a person's spirit can endure sickness, but who can survive a broken spirit? Depression. You feel as if your spirit is broken. It's shattered. So, so that that's a brief synopsis of depression. But the title of this video is the the blessing of depression. So. Let's get into this. What are some ways that you can help yourself uh, spiritually deal with depression? Number one, immerse yourself in the gospel. Immerse yourself in the gospel. Immerse yourself in the gospel. The good news, telling yourself, I may not be worthy, but Jesus Christ made me worthy. He poured out his love, his grace, all of that for me. Christ makes you worthy. You get in the gospel to think someone loved you enough to pay the cost of your sins to justify you, to declare you in right standing. You are created in the image of God, the Imago Dei, that gives you value, that gives you worth. Once you start thinking of the gospel and all that God has done for you, depression will start to fade away. Remain in the Bible. Develop a hearty appetite for God's word. You may not like it. You may not feel like doing it. But sit at the table and feast upon his goodness and the goodness of his word. Psalm 19, 7. Psalm 19, 7. It's powerful. Psalm 19.7 really deals with psychology, the, the soul, the suke. It says, the instruction of the Lord is perfect. It's complete. Renewing one's life, renewing one's soul. It revives your soul. The word of God revives your life. It imparts refreshment to your inner man where depression hits and it weighs down your heart. God's word imparts refreshment to the inner man. The Bible is true soul food for your soul. Lastly, here is the biggest, or here is the blessing here. Depression can cause you to seek God more. That is the blessing of depression. You get closer to God. If you turn your focus on him, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Number three, seek means, not just breakthroughs. A lot of times we get even more depressed when we're looking for that knock it out the park pill, that knock it out the park event that will make us feel better. No, seek means of gradual restoration. Look for little things that make you happy. Maybe you're happier now than you were two hours ago. That's a blessing. Maybe you've eaten a little bit more than you ate yesterday because your appetite was gone because of depression. That's a blessing. So you seek the means, not just breakthroughs. Seek 
gradual means of restoration. Allow the word of God to get in your life to draw you closer and closer to Christ. Depression can, is serious, but depression carries with it a blessing. It's all about perspective. And that blessing is you get closer and closer to Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Share the video. Let someone else glean from what you have eaten. God bless.